Hey, how are y'all doing? Home here, and welcome back to some more Elden Ring boss guide. Today, we're gonna be taking on Godfrey, the first Elden Lord, the real person, not the ghost version. So, yeah, uh, eventually you'll reach this guy, but I'll, I'll show it off at the end uh, on the map where it is for those of you guys that really want to see. So, I'm gonna do my best to explain how to attack well, the, op the, the openings for this guy and uh, when to evade. So the jump attack and just run it, run through it. Uh, stomp, you can jump that attack and one hit in. Uh, let's see, overheads. All right, this one, the stomp attack. If you're too close, just roll it. Roll diagonal left, one two, and then he has like a three hit follow up. So just trying to stay like diagonal left, try to straight behind him if possible. This slam attack and dodge it by rolling through it, and then there's a follow up slam. So be careful when you ro roll back and stay away from the crack because otherwise that shit's gonna explode. And sometimes after the explosion, he'll follow it up with like an uppercut. So get ready to dodge through it. So basically, phase one, just dodge diagonal left and you'll be good. All right, uh, overhead, diagonal left. Get one or two hits in for that one where he swings and then overhead. All right, stomp, oh, uh, jump attack. We got a stun here. This is triggered by, I think, hitting its head multiple, multiple times. Uh, after that, he'll do this move. Where he stomps the ground and then now you can dodge it by rolling through it rolling back or rolling into him now at this point all his stomp attacks is gonna have a shockwave like a big ass shockwave not just that line anymore second stage begin when the fight starts it's gonna do that uppercut thing you can just uh, avoid it by running away uh second stage i highly recommend play safe this football player move where he like does this cross slash with his arm you can actually dodge it by rolling away i just mistimed it so i got caught when he screams and jumps up like that, he can jump the first initial shockwave and then just jump the second one and then run away because uh, around him is going to explode. That one where he does it all dramatic <laughs> when he tries to grab you, you can dodge it by rolling into him and then get one hit. So basically what I like to do for second stage is whenever he does tries to do the grab, that's when I like to try to get a, get a hit in. Uh, this jump attack, you can actually jump it. Like when he does a jump slam, you can jump it and you get one hit in. I like to dodge this dramatic rush because um, you can dodge into it and then get one hit in and then you can still have time to get away. The other attacks are kind of risky because you might combo it. That move where he does like the barrage after he's finished, you get one hit in and get ready to dodge after that hit because he's going to have follow-ups. And the dramatic grab got me this time. <laughs> it does a lot of damage, look at that. So if you don't have the health for this, you might get screwed. And I highly recommend you don't fight these bosses until you're like level, maybe level 90 or 100 uh, HP and stamina wise. And also damage. Because um, the fight takes too long, it might it might get screwed. See? This one, you can just, the, the football move, you can just dodge it by rolling away. I mean, running away and then rolling away. There's the explosion one. So this is uh, another time you can get some health while when you get away from it. Now in the second stage he also has this power up where he can do the thing where the, the ground slams become earthquakes. So now we have to watch out for that. The explosion move now has double earthquakes so you have to watch out for that. Um, these jump attacks where he just slams his hand to the ground it, does, it doesn't have any earthquake uh, effects so don't have, you don't have to worry about that. Dramatic rush, All right, roll into it, get one hit in. He screams. This one you have to watch out because it heads twice, see? And then just start running away. So that's the perfect time to get some health, I would say. This grab, uh, you can get one hit in and back away. Be careful, this, cause, yeah, because cause he has a combo right after. So that one's a little bit risky. If you miss dodge the combo, you're fucked. So if you want to play it really safe, just wait for, wait for him to do these, um, I guess, double hand grab stuff. So this one, see, uppercut and the, the football thing, uh, the dramatic grab, the crazy combo after he does that, you can go in for a hit and then just get really dodge away. So those are your openings for this fight, I would say, or for this phase at least. Alright, slam, slam again, so just jump those and then run away. If you need to. While he's like exploding the ground, you can uh, get some health back. 
second phase is where it, like the difficulty is, I think. Because of his combos. Uh, you cannot block any of those grabs, by the way. I've tried. It just goes right through it. Like, he would just send you up in the air no matter what. Goodbye, Godfrey. <sighs> yeah, that's how you deal with him. Um, the first phase is kind of... It's more or less the same as the golden version. Except it has like a few new things. The second phase is probably the most annoying because you have to keep running. You gotta be on your toes. My my weapon's like plus 24 right here. Uh, basic Nagaku uh, Nagakuba. <laughs> Nagakiba. I was gonna say Nagakuga, but that's a different game. Anyways, um, stats and everything. Here's where the boss is at. Uh, in case you guys want to know. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video. So I hope this helps. And thank you all so very much for watching. And I hope to catch y'all next time. Oops. Oops.